In this video, I'm going to go over a quick tip about steady stroke and 3D coat. You may find yourself from time to time making a brush stroke such as this and finding that it doesn't make a complete stroke. I'll do it again here. And you may find yourself wondering what exactly am I doing wrong? What's causing this? What setting do I need to change? It really comes down to steady stroke. Many times when you use this, you'll find that after you're done using it, other tools may not work properly, and it may seem like there's a bug in 3D Coat. Well, that's not the case. What's happening is steady stroke is interfering one way or the other. In this case, even though I have it turned on, this particular preset has a very high amount in the steady stroke parameter box here. The default is 15, so let's set that back. Now, if I brush, I have no problems. Okay, so let me undo to clear all of those. I'll bring that back up. Let's go with maybe 35. And this time, let's say I want to create the seam with a little more precision by using a spline stroke. I'll hit escape to finish the completion of the spline. I can go back and edit the points, but let's just go ahead and hit the enter key to apply that stroke along that spline. Yeah, you can see it didn't come out very well. So I'm going to undo by hitting Control Z. And let's bring that down to, let's say, 25. I'll hit Enter one more time. That's better, but it still didn't complete on the end here. So let me hit Escape. What you want to do is every time you use Steady Stroke, get into the habit of turning it off because it will not only interfere here or other strokes, but there may be other tools such as Vox Extrude or any other tools where steady stroke will interfere and you don't want that. So let's turn that off and now hit the enter key. There we go. I hit escape to drop that spline. So it works as expected without steady stroke on. I'll turn that back on and go back to a brush. So yeah, steady stroke is very helpful in some cases, but once more, after you're done using it, you want to turn that off. One thing you could do to make this a little bit easier is you can hover over this and assign a hotkey. Just hover over it and hit the end key on your keyboard, and that will allow you to create an assignment. So I'll hit my hotkey that I've already created for it. I chose Alt S and it turns it on and it turns it off. Okay, So once again, steady stroke, make sure to keep tabs on whether or not it's enabled or disabled before you move on to other tools. Okay, so I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.